Eclipse Metals Limited is an Australian mineral exploration company focused on exploring multi-commodity mineralisation. The company has an impressive portfolio of assets in Australia, totalling 18 granted tenements and tenement applications over an area of approximately 9,200 square kilometres. In addition, Eclipse has acquired ownership of the Ivertute project in Greenland, which covers the world's largest historical cryolite mine and 50 square kilometres of ground prospective for rare earth and industrial minerals. Eclipse Metals Limited has a multi-commodity portfolio perspective for manganese, uranium, gold, vanadium and precious metals in Australia. And rare earths, polymetallic and industrial mineral high purity quartz potential in Greenland. Eclipse's flagship project is located in southwest Greenland. Ivertute, located inside the project boundary, is a small settlement located in southwestern Greenland where there is a land-backed wharf used previously for the export of cryolite. A settlement about 5.5 kilometres to the northeast of Ivertute has a heliport and an active wharf with infrastructure. Since acquiring the project, surveys and sampling in the area have demonstrated evidence of significant high purity quartz and rare earths potential. Gronadal, situated northeast of Ivertute, has also demonstrated significant rare earths potential. Eclipse has recently concluded an exploration program, drilling, trenching and grab sampling on the Greenland project site, and is taking steps towards an application for a mining licence in the near future. Modelling of historical exploration data from the Ivertute deposit indicates the presence of a large body of in-situ high silica grade, low impurity quartz immediately below the pit floor as defined by historic drilling. On the 29th of March 2021, Eclipse released to the ASX the modelling, which supports an estimated exploration target in the order of 5.8 million tonnes of quartz, ranging between 90% and 95% silica which further confirms the company's view of the significant economic potential to exploit this high silica grade quartz body. Multiple significant rare earths results obtained by Eclipse Metals to date imply that Gronodal, located 10 kilometres northeast of Ivertute, has the potential to contain significant rare earth mineralisation. The presence of light rare earth mineralisation at Gronodal is consistent with other REE-bearing carbonatite intrusive complexes. Laboratory results and complementary XRF readings suggest that, in addition to light rare earths mineralisation, the Gronodal carbonatite cyanite complex is also, at least in part, enriched in diprosium, praseodymium and neodymium. The latter are often termed the magnet feed rare earth elements, which are critical for high-performance magnets used by the automotive sector and in wind turbines. Ivertute was historically the site for the world's only natural cryolite mine. Cryolite, a mineral used as a flux to lower the melting point of bauxite, reduces the required furnace temperature in the extraction of aluminium from bauxite ore. The company's Greenlandic multi-commodity project, previously mined for cryolite at Ivertute, 
was never previously explored for lithium. Grab samples from an Applite dike of returned elevated lithium concentrations up to 430 parts per million. These Ivertrude samples represent lower grade cryolite fluorite siderite from the historic mine dump, where lithium most likely occurs in cryolithianite, a globally rare lithium bearing fluoride mineral first described from Ivertrude. Overall, the combination of historical research, more recent exploration, sampling and surveys have demonstrated that although originally known for holding cryolite, the Greenland project is in fact a commodity smuggler's board. The company's mission is to increase shareholder wealth through capital growth and ultimately dividends. Eclipse plans to achieve this goal by exploring four and developing viable mineral deposits to generate mining or joint venture income. Exploration of the company tenements is the primary focus for our technical team. However, Eclipse continues to seek additional prospective projects which complement existing assets.